Hey everyone, Cadams Tech here. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you what it's like as day one as a junior software engineer. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Christopher Adams. I am a senior software engineer living in the Denver area. If you found that you've gotten anything useful out of this video, remember to like, subscribe, share this with anyone that you know is interested in learning software engineering. And I did put a Patreon link down below in the description if you feel so inclined. But um, yeah, tips are appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into it. Day one being a junior software engineer. It's still the same today as it's always been. It's kind of like syllabus day when you're going to college or when you're going to high school or when you're, you know, just getting acclimated to the environment. You probably aren't going to have to do any real coding on your first day. The first day will be more about meeting coworkers, um, getting your laptop set up, getting some of the applications that you need installed, getting access to VPNs, if that's something that you need, which will allow you to connect to their network um, and get access to their systems, like databases if you need. Um, probably set up your GitHub, your Slack environment. Um, just make sure you can get things up and running. Possibly start cloning in different code bases from GitHub or GitLab or, or Azure Git, and that is going to be cloning in the code to your local environment and potentially getting something set up. So getting those things set up might consist of having a .env file and putting in the credentials that you need for certain um, access points for both the front end and the back end in your app. And then you'll connect everything and get your database set up and make sure everything's up and running locally. That's definitely anywhere between the first day and the first week. Um, it might be the first day where you don't even clone any code at all yet. You're just setting up all of the other applications and getting to know coworkers and whatnot. And the next day you'll be cloning in some code and doing things like that. But if you can start doing that your first day, that's going to impress your coworkers. Um, so if you can clone in that code and try and like get something running within the first day or two, that's going to greatly impress your coworkers. So yeah, that was going on a tangent, but as a junior, you're not expected to know how to clone in the code and... Uh, populate all of, all of your ENV variables and get your whole local environment set up. But if you want to go the extra mile um, after your work day or maybe right before the end of the work day, um, you could ask about that. You could ask the lead developer about, hey, can I clone in the code and um, start populating and getting my local environment set up? If you feel like you've gotten to that point. But only try to get to that point once you have all of the other stuff set up that your company requires. You might be required to get some paperwork set up and then you're going to have to work on your benefits, like getting your benefits set up and, and whatnot. So you may not even get around to that your first day. Okay, so first day. If you're remote, um, you're going to have several meetings. You're probably going to have, you know, definitely several meetings. Um, so those will be video-based meetings. Definitely have your camera on if, you, if possible. Um, try and smile a lot and look them in the eyes and nod and whatnot. Um, they're going to probably want to screen share with you and make, make sure that you can get certain things set up and you, that you have access to certain things. And they're going to connect you with certain people and say, hey, this is so-and-so and they're responsible for X, Y, and Z. And uh, if you need them for that, uh, reach out to them. Otherwise, they're going to be reaching out to you when they need X, Y, and Z. And, um, and that's the way it is. So it's going to be a lot of just talking, getting to know coworkers uh, on the first day. So the first day, whether it's remote or in person, it's going to be talking to coworkers, getting established, getting to know people, um, getting access to certain environments, and it's very much syllabus day. So you're you're not going to get handed anything intense on the very first day. Uh, it's very much the same in person. In person, it's going to be walking around to different rooms and meeting the different people and and knowing what their position is and knowing how they can be helpful to you. Uh, and then they may even say, and you're going to be helping them with a problem that they're having over here with this software uh, so you can help improve it for them. Yeah. And then also sitting at your computer and getting uh, your environment set up. Um, you might have a lunch break. Uh, most people take around 30 minutes uh, is what I find. Um, you can take up to an hour, but... Um, but if you do, just try and be ultra efficient during the rest of the work day. Um, some people even choose to just make up that last 30 minutes or whatever. But me personally, I would take about an hour and then um, try to be ultra efficient the rest of the work day. And also, if you're in person, lunch can be a great time to um, form bonds with team members, especially as a new person. You really want to get your make your way in there and make yourself known for being a great person to work with, for being someone that can communicate. Uh, and it can be trustworthy. 
And there's no better way to do that than just spending a little bit of personal time with bonding with coworkers uh, through lunch. That's an excellent way to do that. And sometimes, you know, there is a little bit of gossip where people will talk about people uh, during lunch. So that's a good, good way to be in the know as well. Um, don't try to gossip yourself, but at least you're in the know. Uh, and, and, and that's a great way to do it. Um, I'm not saying you need to spend a bunch of money or anything. One thing I used to do was, believe it or not, at one point I packed my own lunch, like peanut butter and jelly sandwich, something as simple as that. And I would go out with coworkers um, when they're eating lunch. And it was just my little funny frugal way of getting to have the same experience, but eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which wasn't the most exciting, but it saved quite a bit of money. Don't get me wrong, there were plenty of times where I did go out to lunch and I paid for food, but I was trying to break that habit. Um, so that's what I chose to do. Now, if you're remote um, and lunchtime can be a thing where people just look at you to see how long you're offline, really. So um, try to just be mostly online and take like a 30 minute to an hour lunch. And if you and if you even need to, just take that 30 minutes to an hour to do whatever you want and then eat your lunch at your desk like I do. So that aside, the first day is a breeze. The first week is a breeze. But I would say before the end of the first week is up, definitely try to make sure all of your environments are up and working, if not the first or second day. Um, definitely by the end of the week. You don't want to be caught off guard where you get assigned a bunch of tickets and then week two rolls around and you say, oh, I don't have my environment set up yet because um, you don't want to be there. Also, some bonus tips for day one as a junior if you want to come off as more senior, more experienced, right? Is have an overview of all of the technologies that are used for the application that you're going to be working on. Just write it out, write, write a list out. Say, uh, you know, MySQL or Postgres for the database, uh, Node for the backend, um, Express for the routing, you know, engine. Um, what else? Say React for the front end and say the version like React 19, say, say the version Node 22 or whatever version of Node. Write out the versions and the platforms too. So that way you can look up these versions and platforms and see if they're on the latest LTS, which would be a good standard to have the latest LTS because that is a long-term support and there might be better features and security fixes in those. Uh, so then you could do a little research on these specific technologies that are in your application and the versions and gain a little more insight rather than working on things here and there and then not really knowing what's going on overall. So this is a way to like bump up that skill. Another bonus tip is getting a lot of those questions out earlier. So if you're a junior, um, the more questions that you can ask to get yourself up to speed with everything that's going on as a junior, the better I feel. Just get it out earlier. Get all those questions out earlier. Um, but only ask those questions after you spent maybe five or five minutes or more like trying to dig in and understand what's going on. Because don't just ask questions that are easily um, Googleable or easily searchable through the code uh, on your own end. Um, try and spend a little bit of time exploring. And then after you spend that time exploring, come up with a list of questions and get those lists of questions out as early as possible because it will not only make you, you know, it will not only show that you're interested in the product and understanding it, but also it'll get you up to speed much, much quicker um, by doing this. And the earlier you can do that, the better, because you, you don't want to ask questions a year later of, that are kind of silly that you should have known like the first week. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this spur of the moment video. Um, sorry, it might've been a bit rambly. If you feel like you've gotten anything out of it, remember to like, subscribe, and share with anyone that you know is interested in learning software engineering. I have a Patreon down below. I am going to churn out a ton of content. I have a ton of video ideas. I'm doing these on a whim, but I have a lot of ideas. Just feel free to drop comments down below. See you all later.